Um, the next one is one of my personal favorites, again, because I work in an industry where we have to place PDFs in our documents all the time. And this one is called Place Multi-Page PDF. Anyone else placing PDFs? But are you doing like file place, and then you go find it, and it's like 500 pages long, and you're like placing everyone? I'm gonna run this script, and two things. Notice I'm currently on a blank page for our purposes, so I could run it here in this document, and it will show up on this page and add the additional pages as necessary. I generally prefer to put them in a different document because I have other things that I do to them. But I'm gonna double click on Place Multi-Page PDF. It's gonna let me navigate to a PDF that's on my hard drive. I'm using one, it's a 14 page SF330, which is just a, doc, a government document. Click open. Like I said, I'm gonna put it in a new document. Click OK. Click OK again. And it's done. So the entire thing came in in a new document on my pages. It actually comes in on whatever your default document setup is, and my setup was slightly less than eight and a half by 11 here. So you can see it's slightly hanging off. I can definitely fix that in my document. But I did want to point it out. They'll come in nearly perfectly, but if there's a mixture of 11 by 17s or other page sizes in here, InDesign isn't gonna automatically change a page size. It's just gonna hang off to, this, to the right. So it's not perfect, but it's pretty darn close. And here is another one for an image catalog. Do you ever have to do kind of contact sheets for people? And you wanna show, you know, show your client all of the images in the folder? We can run image catalog. And here I have a folder of some images. Thank you, Adobe Stock. So I'll click on the folder, click open, and I have some choices here of how I want the page to look. So do I want it in a grid? Yes, I do. So I'm gonna do three rows and three columns. And then I'm just gonna click, let's do, click OK. Done. And there are my images in a contact sheet. Now, my favorite keyboard shortcut here to really clean it up is Option Command C to snap the frames, or Shift Option Command C to fill frame proportionately. So Shift Option Command C or Shift Alt Control C fills frame proportionately. That was way easier and like placing all the images, running all the captions. So that is image catalog. Well, let's run a script. One called merge files. So I'm gonna go to all documents in a folder. And here I have a folder with 12 InDesign files in it that I wanna merge back into one InDesign file. So I'm gonna click open. And we have a little list here that may not be in the right order, because luckily these are paginated. So you can kind of move them around, the little up arrow. All right, pages one through 12, click OK. Uh, all one file, really, really, really tremendously helpful for what how we work, because we like to work with a lot of stuff in a single file. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.